Senkaku Games. Hi there everybody, it's Neil from Senkaku Games. I'm just going to be running through a couple of configuration things that you could be doing inside of game to help increase your FPS. Uh, this game is at the moment currently a bit um, CPU heavy, uh, meaning that it kind of relies on your CPU for most of the computing of the graphics that you see. Um, obviously your graphics card does do a lot of work um, so I'm just going to run through a couple of the settings and um, advise you uh, what I run on for starters this is why I actually record my videos under at all times um, I always want 1080p uh, which is 1920 by 1080 this resolution is 1080p and I always want this for my recordings because I want the best quality I can get um, what I have done as you can see here is I've got the shadow quality down to medium uh, reducing this down to medium or low or like that's it medium or low um, reducing this while keeping other things will actually help uh, your FPS quality um, and whatnot but uh, I don't know why this is disabled I am actually running an older driver version I'm about two drivers uh, two driver versions behind um, on my NVIDIA graphics driver just basically because you have to test out every driver within the past three releases or so just to see which one's best for you because it's not the same for everybody depending on your hardware configuration so uh, test these out see how it runs for yourself because you might find that you might need to roll back two drivers or just one driver or maybe you should upgrade if you're on an old driver but for me um, two drivers older than the current released drivers for NVIDIA is the best one for me and this might be why this is disabled I'm not sure if this is because um, Sony Online Entertainment have disabled it or if uh, it's because I've not upgraded my drivers for this so basically if you're having a lot of um, FPS problems the best thing to do is start at the top work your way down set everything to high do your maximum resolution and then work your way down to playing on and then change from high uh, to medium and see how that gets on all medium settings if that isn't working too well for you um, then go low and then you'll get a good feel of ugh, it's disgusting uh, shall I save my I'll save my mozzie hello mozzie right okay bye as you can see here there's no special effects with the the um afterburners or burners or whatever at the, the engines at the back there after reducing the settings but uh going from low to medium you can see it turns quite a lot of these shadows on and on. so once you've got the uh, good baseline between the medium and high or low and medium whichever is best for you what you need to do is you need to stick it to the higher of the two whether it be medium or high and uh, work your settings down uh, one of the things you need to do first is work with the render quality so hopefully you won't have to um, change any of these settings if you put down your render quality see how the uh, textures and rendering see how it all looks for you whether it's good enough or if you don't want to really sacrifice the render quality put it back up to 100% then work on these um, what you need to do is just drop the shadow quality down a level so if you're on medium uh, knock your shadow quality down to low if you're on high knock it down to medium and obviously with high you can actually do it a little bit more you can go for low so just play around with that see which uh, FPS is best for you um, I mean between high and medium I gain about 3 to 4 FPS more um, between high and low we well I gain uh, probably about 7 FPS more around about 7 FPS more um, so do play around with these because it can help um, obviously if you put the ambient occlusion off uh, let's see 
well, I'm still on high at the moment, so that's gave me about 2 FPS on low. Yeah, it's about 3 FPS difference beforehand. So if I turn this back on, I get 3 FPS less, 3 FPS more. So, there you go. But the, this is mainly just so you can get the, um, like this. If I go here, see, you can see this coming up here. It's just like um, how the light, which there isn't much of, we've just got the sun, uh, the sun, the moon at the moment shining down on the ground. But that's your two main things. Um, fog shadows will, I think that uh, dramatically um, puts your FPS down. Uh, actually my FPS just went up there so that's not very good. <laughs> Um, right, so if we've got Ifrit on the high, we've got Fog Shadows on and Ambient Occlusion on. Um, it's alright, I guess. I'm getting around about 50 to 60 FPS at the moment. So, a look. Somebody in BRTD. Bye, Mythics. Hope you die. <laughs> right, anyway, back to um, our little FPS. So, these options are the first ones you want to start playing with. You want to work with the shadows. Always work with shadows because shadows can draw a lot of um, processing power away from your graphics card and your uh, um, your processor. Um, I tend to never ever play with motion blur because it does kind of affect FPS and I don't really like how it looks. Uh, the next thing that you'll want to work on is your particles. Particles such as this. Um, which obviously I need to restart to do that. I'm not going to restart right now because uh, I'm just showing you what you should be playing around with. The flora is just all the detail as you've seen in the background here. The lower it is, the less you have. The higher it is, the more you have. So, I mean, if you're not really bothered about all the fancy terrain like the rocks and the little green leaves and whatever grass growing out at the bottom, just turn it off and there you go. You should get maybe one or two FPS. Hold on, let's put this back up to high. Let's if I put it all back up to normal. Um, what I normally this is my normal settings. Uh, without that, there you go. So yeah, I'm getting around about 50 FPS at the moment. So if I turn the Florida to low, I get one to two FPS more. So that's not really bothersome. I mean, when I go into action, I go from 50 to 40 FPS at the most. Um, so, it's not so bad. Um, it just, again, it's all dependent on your hardware. So you need to really look at your hardware and see what you can handle. Um, you need to test different settings. It's going to take some time to go through them all, but you'll get there eventually. So play around with settings so you get like a nice... Um, a nice average FPS that you think you can deal with. Just keep in mind, people that play consoles, or if you used to consoles in the past, the highest ever FPS you have ever had on a console is 30 FPS. All of the games that you play on a console are 30 FPS. Computers can do higher because uh, the refresh rates on monitors uh, for computers are a lot higher. Um, Generally, the highest you can get is around about 120 hertz on a monitor, which will allow you to get true 120 FPS out of your machine. Obviously, if you're hitting uh, around about 90 or 100 on your planet side too, then that just means you're going to have it glitch-free somewhat. But obviously, if you have a better monitor, then you will have a lot more FPS and a lot clearer images coming through your screen. So, again, Play around with these, turn things on and off, that's all you really can do at the moment. There is a little video that I'll be doing in future which is uh, to help you set your render distance. Uh, this is something that cannot be done in game. Uh, what I'll do is I'll put a little video here or something like that about render distance. But if you click this here, when it is here, uh, that will allow you to find out how to set your render distance. Hopefully this is something that they're going to come up with eventually and add into this menu. I don't know why it's not here, but, uh, well. Anyway, this is uh, Neil from Sekaku Games. I hope this guide has uh, helped you a little. If you have any questions, please feel free to throw a comment in the comments below. Otherwise, you can head 
went over to sencacagames.com we have a forum there we actually have helped quite a lot of users um, with their hardware questions uh, in relation to Planetside 2, uh, we have a full written guide if you want to head over to senkaku.com and search how to increase your FPS uh, in the search bar that will come up with um, the website uh, has a full four or five page guide and how to, what kind of things that you can look at to increase your FPS. So for me, Neil, Senkaku Games Thank you for watching and we'll talk to you soon.